This video is published by mbkpinternational.com. This video, we're going to talk about our guillotine EC19 Pro and the on off switch on that. Some people had some issues with the on off switch going out um, every six months to a year. Um, we do have a different on off switch that you can retrofit in it, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First thing you're going to do is just um, unplug your paper cutter from power, and you're just going to basically be taking this whole thing off here. Um, get into your electronics compartment, take off your switches. On um, these, you just put, have a white tab you push down on, and these come slide off. And on those, um, on this one, sometimes there's a white tab you push down to slide off, sometimes there's a red one. Red one you pull up and slide off. The white tabs you push down and slide off. Now there are four, um, I'll take this off, but um, there'll be four um, nuts on, on, on these. One, two, three, four. So you have to reach in here and take these nuts off to slide it out. And just take, once you get this off, you can take it to a workbench. Okay, I got it off on the workbench, and you just want to remove this because you're, if you're going to um, use a new on switch, you won't need it either. It's, you won't need it either. Simple as that. There's just a nut on the back. And so now you have this like this, and you'll just need to um, retrofit this to go inside that hole there. And um, I got another one already pre-done. But basically, what you're going to do, you're going to drill four screw holes, and the screw holes are um, three sixteenths drill bit. And then on this, these the um, the square here will not quite fit in this so you do need to file down these um these holes here or, or the right inside this hole here and the bottom ones are about right at the um holes here at the screw holes where they'll be right at the corners so you can file file those down file it down there and this one's a little more past it towards the top center right, right in there somewhere up there a little bit see how they got them all kind of carved out now you can use a dremel with a with a grinder on it you can use a uh, file if you have a file just a handheld file you can actually uh, melt it if you had like a uh, soldering iron just hold it against it and melt it when it's hot it's up to you how you want to do it but you do need to um, grind them out a little bit and get make make this a little bit bigger in those areas so this square will fit in there and i got it um when you're putting this on um this gets the screws in it but you want to take these out the bolts in it you take them out so you can have the holes there and then fit this in first without the bolts and just like so. Your um, zero was off, so it's usually on the bottom. This has already been pre done, and you can see how it went in. It, you can see how you had to file it around there, around these edges, because it, it wouldn't go in perfectly. So you had to file the corners off a little bit there to get this in that hole. Now, this the bolts, once you get this in, you can put your, um, your nuts on the back and screw them down, tighten them up good. And be, once it's on there, it's on there secure. Um, Zero for the bottom, that would be on, that would be off. Okay, now again, when you're, the first thing you want to do is um, get this grinded out and get this fitting in here without the, without the, with these off. So just take these off, and once you get it fitting in there, these will just have holes there, and you can mark your holes where you want to drill your holes, where you want to drill your screw holes. And then you can put these little bolts in there, and it, and it should fit right into the holes you drilled, because you, if you marked them with the holes, with these holes. Okay, so we'll just do that. We'll assume we got it in there like that, and we'll assume the bolts are on, nuts are on the back. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on now. We got it already retrofitted there, and just slide them like so. I'm not gonna put this. You're gonna put the screws back in to hold it in place. There's four of them again. One, two, three, four. Put the nuts for it. And once it's in place, one thing you're gonna want to put your um your two your middle switch back on they just slide on there is a channel a single channel usually at the top and which goes right to the center of that it won't go on if you're at an angle like here or something like it it's got to be hit that channel perfectly to slide on it'll snap into place and you can tug on it to make sure it's on good now you'll just have this switch to do and we do have this here and we're going to just take these um, wires off of this is the back of the switch that we took off there's basically two wires going to this there's one and this a lot of times has a jumper on it to make it look like three, but it's still only two. Let me take that off. So that's those are your two wires for your on-off switch. And basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna cut these, cut these um, ends off, and cut it here to where you just have two wires, and then you'll strip the end with some wire strippers to where you have about a, I don't know, about a half inch or, or so of stripped wire twisted around. And I'm not going to do it on this because I don't want to strip this one, but um, you'll have some stripped wire here. 
and here's one of these or I'll just do it this one and then you got these two here and they're already pre-done and one of them will go into here and you crimp it down and the other one will go in there it does not matter which way they go it could go either way but just one wire will go to this one and one wire you'll have two of them on the back of the switch and basically you just need some good um, strippers to see how that one was crimped right there right on the wire with like this right here crimped it down just like that to make it sure it's crimped make sure you'll be doing it on this side with the wire in there and just make sure it's crimped really good on that wire and that's all you need to do it's just those two wires into there put your screws back on and then you'll plug your machine back on and plug your machine back in and then turn this on to make sure it's on working this video is published by mbkpinternational.com